So let's jump into Predictor. There is the cloud field again from I-64 to the south, and it's trying to paint out maybe one or two isolated showers right around 730. And that means 99.90% .90 of us would be dry anyhow. Okay, let's watch Predictor now tonight. It's quiet, and tomorrow morning we start off, there's enough humidity around that we might have just an isolated shower, one or two, but then the showers start to kind of gather up just to the west of us here and then they really take over and move in from the west to the east throughout the day as you notice three o'clock that's a lot of rain around the tri-state lifting its way out to the east and then the showers it looks like a secondary batch will be here even in the morning on friday heavy rain showers and thunderstorms to rattle the windows early followed by a little break that's when the sun can break through the clouds and heat things back up and then you see these spotty cells yeah, more of this spotty thunderstorm activity. There are some on Friday. On Saturday, you're going to see a few here, a break, a few here, and so on. Sunday, the same kind of a picture. So this is a lot of rain, and luckily there are big gaps for several hours, so we don't have any flood watches right now, but let's just use some common sense. If we pick up two or three downpours in the same area in about three to six hours, and it's, say, more than uh, two inches, well, we could have some localized water problems, maybe some very localized flooding, and I'm talking about a few blocks here, a few blocks there. But you can see Predictor currently paints out two inches plus in some portions of the viewing area, and that's going to change as time goes on. Each one of these lines is a weather model. This is going to become a tropical storm eventually here, and uh, right now they're calling it uh, a possible tropical storm number nine. And with all these lines out here, this is a wide range of where this thing could go by the weekend. East of Florida, right up the middle to the west, still unknown. Some of those remnants could bring us rain early next week. Now, it's not a tropical storm, but you can see uh, to the northeast of San Juan, got some 18, 19 foot waves out at sea. So it is already uh, kind of making some headlines out there. We'll keep an eye on that. 69 degrees for tonight, a few clouds around, some patchy fog. For tomorrow, yeah, we'll get to 87, but then here come the storms, and that'll knock you back down to about 80 or so in the afternoon. And on Friday, we start with rain, so that should kind of keep a lid on highs at about 82. And then Saturday, Sunday, it's just kind of that hit and miss stuff. It's certainly not all day. Highs near 85. Monday, we're going to keep it at 50-50. There will be rain. Is it to the east? Or is, does it move a little bit more to the west, depending on where that storm goes, the remnants of that storm? So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll just keep our umbrella at arm's length. And we'll be watching out by Friday afternoon. Could be a few spots again where maybe the ditch fills up a little too quickly and so forth.